Okay, welcome to a new unboxing and review. Uh, today will be the new version of the video receiver Homeway RX004. Uh, this new model is including not only a DVR in order to record your live FPV session, but also now some playback functionalities in order to uh, play uh, your file, a recorded file, for example, uh, in the case where you lose your plane in a long range of PV sessions, you will be able to uh, rewind and to see the last OSD information for the GPS coordinates. So it will be very useful uh, uh, to localize your, your lost plane or lost quadcopter. So the novelty is here. Uh, you will see the presence of the wheel and uh, this wheel version, I will so call it uh, new version of the Homeway with the wheel one, is um, it will be able to play back and play and rewind and forwarding the, the, the recorded file. So, what will you find in the box? Uh, you will find uh, this uh, uh, SEA to jack uh, wire, uh, three pines, so video one, the video in yellow and the red and white for the audio. You will find uh, a female version of this wire, okay, and uh, all as well in the 3.5 mm jack. And you will find um, a 5.8 gigahertz antenna, a stick one, and you will find a power connector. Okay, I already soldered a GST one. When you will receive it, you will have only two naked wires, so you, you will need, for example, a small solder, uh, soldering station to plug your favorite connector. For me, it is a GST one. Okay, so uh, the novelty here, okay, if I take the former version, so this is uh, the wheel without the wheel version, so the former one, what you will find, okay? Uh, you will find now on the new one, on the bottom one, this is the new one, you will find some indication of the polarity of uh, the, uh, the, the voltage. So plus is in inner one. And you will find the range of the voltage, so from 7 to 24 vol uh, volts. So it means that you can use uh, from a 2S LiPo up to uh, 5S, so it's good news. And uh, you will find um, the micro card uh, um, slot, little bit uh, shift to the left, uh, more on the bottom of the AV1. So uh, it's a good news uh, because usually you will plug your your Google of your monitor on AV2. Why? Because this is the, the, the clearest output uh, without any video processing uh, linked with the uh, video or CPU inside to make the OSD and the playback functionality. So uh, the AV2 is the clear and direct uh, signal output. So you will plug it and if uh, uh, your SD card is here, you won't be able now anymore to uh, to uh, disconnect the wire in order to retrieve the TF card. I will make the demonstration on the former version. Each time you will have the card, you will have to remove this wire in order to access to the slot. So now it's more easier. And um, uh, what you will find also is this wheel. So, uh, this wheel has three uh, uh, positions, so you can either turn on the uh, right, but even it's written up, okay, turn on the right, turn on the left, okay, and you can push it, so okay, right, left, and push. This, this is uh, the three possible actions to do, to perform on this wheel. So, on the top you will find uh, the RCMA connector, so I will plug uh, a cliff leaf antenna on, on it, through it, okay, okay, and the basic selector from the frequency channel and the frequency band. So I say it's a 32 channel uh, video receiver. So you have the uh, four bands A, B, C, and D, F. Okay, you have the table here where you have for each channel and each band the associated uh, frequency uh, uh, of the carrier. Okay, and you have an indicator, a uh, LCD display will show the, the band on the left and the frequency channel on the right. So, 
I will um, uh, start to switch it on. So I will power him here, uh, put the power connector, and I will use uh, this uh, uh, this uh, including a wire jack, and I will start to use the AV1 because with this one you will see uh, the OSD information associated with the playback functionality. So I will plug it and. In order to make a, a good display, I will use my computer, my laptop, associated with this AZCAP module in order to capture the, the um, um, power signal. So I will plug the audio, I will plug the uh, video, okay, and I will uh, start to, um, to um, the LiPo, and you will see here on the screen, you will see a welcome message appearing. Okay, so writing home way, and you have the white snow. So um, this model have uh, good uh, features. For example, if your monitor uh, don't have uh, oh, have sorry have the blue screen, means when the video signal is too below. Usually, some cheap uh, monitors or rear car monitors uh, will display a blue screen. With such uh, video receiver. You won't have it anymore. You will have a, a more adapted white snow, which is more, uh, a, which is more uh, comfortable. So, when I'll, um, uh, I will use this uh, small camera, which is a 90 degrees uh, camera with uh, including a 24 milliwatts video uh, transmitter. Okay, um, in order to make some. Uh, 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 video transmissions. So first I will show you the uh, playback functionalities. So I will enter in the uh, menu by pressing a long time this uh, uh, button, push a long time, more than one second, and you will enter in the playback functionalities. So you will have to the playback, okay, um, if you have already some recorded file, you have to enter in this menu. You can uh, earn, make a format of your SD card, okay, and change your languages between English and Chinese. So uh, I will stay like this, but if I enter in this um, sub-menu, you will see that you can choose between English and Chinese. So to select, uh, you have to uh, press uh, the wheel, to push the wheel briefly, okay. Uh, less than 0 two seconds, for example, and you enter in the submenu. Okay, I will enter in the playback submenu. Okay, so is written one moment, and you will access to the uh, all the recorded file. So I have three recorded. Is written here. Okay, and the last sh uh, shot was only uh, one second of duration. So we will start with uh, the. We we'll play with the right wheel. Okay, and uh, access the first one. So in order to play, you have to push briefly uh, the wheel uh, and it will play. Okay, so it's playing. Uh, you can see it's, it's already recorded uh, uh, five sessions and uh, it, re it restarts at the beginning. So you can also, during play, playing, you can also forward in um, by and uh, multiply the speed of playing by a factor 1, 2, 4 and 8. So I will start to play it again. And I will push on the right and the right again and can up to have 8. So it's very fast. I will play again. Okay, I will push right. It's multiplied by 2. And if I push on the left, when you start, I can rewind it. Okay, okay, it's written rewind. Okay, I will have to end. My right reel is it a bit difficult to access. Okay. I cannot. Okay, but if you push on the left, you press on the left, you can be able to rewind. So when you are in the um, sub menu playback file, you can return to the general main menu by uh, pressing a more longer time the wheel. 
and you will return to the video. Okay? When you already play back some file and you want to return to the live video, you have to push briefly uh, the, the button. And you will return to the white snow. Okay, so now I will plug the uh, video transmitter. And you will see appearing uh, these images. So we'll make a, a large. Uh, uh, we'll make uh, uh, is working very efficiently. Okay. So now it's the live transmission associated with the output heavy one. Okay. So uh, you so this one uh, this output got a small video processing, and uh, you I will show you on the AV2. This uh, images is a little bit narrowed, so cropped. The images on the border is a little bit cropped. You will see the difference on the on the full review of the SC groups. Okay, and you will also notice when I will start to recording. So I press briefly the information, the wheel, press briefly, and you will see a red point indicating that it's recording. And you will see on the Google, on the monitor, there is a small slowdown while the recording mode is on. Okay, uh, but I will uh, estimate uh, the frame rate in in uh, up to 22 frames per second one is plugged on AV1 okay so AV1 is uh, remind you is the output with all the OSD information and video uh, processing um, operations so so I will stop to recording okay I will press again the wheel briefly and the the red light stop to flash and it will remain red so now I will plug the, they will use the second output, the AV2. You will see the difference, okay, look the image here is quite white, very bright and when I will plug it, the image will be more precise and a little bit more uh, wider. Okay, so you can see the image is more precise on the detail on the wall, okay, you have more high frequencies and the image is less cropped, you can access more on the top left and, and so on. So the images here is perfectly fluid, it's very very fluid. Even, look, if I press recording, so you will see now only this red point flashing, no more information displayed on the, uh, on the, um, on the, um, on, on the monitor. So, I will press it fresh, uh, briefly to start recording. Okay, now we start to, uh, to, 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 to record. And you can see, oops, sorry, that the image on the monitor is absolutely not uh, slowing down while it's recording. So it's working very, very, very well. And the image is very precise. So the AV2 uh, uh, have to be used if you you want to record uh, without any interferences and have a full speed uh, uh, transmission in your live sessions, so it's very useful. Uh, the drawback that you have to watch only the uh, if the record is on or off, only on if the red uh, uh, LED is flashing or not. So I will stop the recording. Okay, now it's. Uh, it's uh, stopped to flash, and if I want to see the result of what I recorded, I restart to plug on, uh, on the AV1, press long time on the playback for, to access to the playback menu, I press briefly to enter in this sub menu, okay, and I will see now I have up to five files recorded, so if I want the four, okay, and I will start to play and you will see the result of the recorded okay session is very uh, uh, clear and you can see all indications so, so um, our, uh, a little bit uh, warning uh, since the image is a little bit cropped in the AV1 uh, be aware that maybe if you have some OSD information on the top uh, on bottom part, very in the last few lines, uh, 
with 81 output they may be a little bit cropped so be sure that you don't have um, uh, any uh, OSD important OSD information on the top because uh, in these cases um, uh, if you need to play back them maybe they will be a little bit cropped okay so uh, uh, okay just in warning but uh, in the file they won't be so if you use an external uh, playback they won't be cropped it's just in the case when you play back them in the AV1 okay so so it's okay uh, I, I I will put some pictures uh, showing that uh, the image size for example between this uh, bus cam video receiver and uh, this homeway are exactly the same so uh, no cropping um, uh, images in AV2 compared to this one, so it's very good news. Only they cropped and for I will estimate to three or four percent percent of the total uh, surfaces are of, is obtained uh, if you plug in on AV1. Okay, so be aware. And it's uh, it's uh, I, I guess this is the video processor inside will uh, need to crop the image to uh, effectuate some uh, conversion and low pass filter in order to clean the signal. But um, be aware of that. So um, I will uh, stop the uh, video transmission there, and I will stop uh, the. Um, the video so to resume uh, uh, this uh, new video uh, receiver uh, working on 5.8 gigahertz with 32 genau uh, is a very good product in my point of view uh, why uh, because uh, you have a small and relatively light uh, video receiver including uh, a an excellent quality DVR uh, it's um, uh, the video frame rate is up to uh, 45 uh, frame per second. So uh, there is, it's uh, the quality is much better. For example, compared to the Hobby King uh, uh, DVR, um, um, and uh, you can you have now a new some new um, playback functionalities. And you can access to the submenu thanks to this uh, wheel. Uh, and uh, uh, you can use a uh, LiPo from 2S up to 5S, so it's good news. And um, it's compatible with all the video transmitters of the market. So uh, I like it and I use it personally. And, uh, and it replaces the combo, uh, for example, this one plus uh, an external DVR. So it uh, replies, uh, replaces this combo to this uh, smaller and light one. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel and follow the associated link to this product on the SC Groups. Bye bye.